Hello everyone, this is AG47 Liberty, and tonight I'm going to talk about a current event concerning Mr. Dorner, uh, the police response, and the Second Amendment. Okay, let's get started. The prof let's talk about the police response. The professionally trained police ran amok, shooting up vehicles and killing totally innocent people. Or, they just plain ran and hid. That's right, they took all the motorcycle cops off, off the streets and other things. And cops stopped responding to other crimes. Now, these are the and think that these are the kind of people who should be allowed to have guns. They call these people responsible. But not but non government private citizens cannot be trusted and their excuses well private people aren't trained well enough and they'll just run amok and shoot shoot up people. Is that not just what these government professionally trained police officers just did? What's the difference? Why are we paying them? I don't real I don't feel real secure. Second, what's his right to self defense? Well, the Supreme Court has ruled three times in our history about how the police have no obligation to protect us. And it is solely our own um, obligation. It's our own sole duty as to protect ourselves. Let me read off a few of the, uh, the, 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 the three cases. In 1856, South versus Maryland. In 1982, Bowers versus DeVito, and I wrote this, the Supreme Court response, because this is the most, uh, I found the most, um, uh, the most interesting one. Uh, the Supreme Court said, there's no constitutional right to be protected by the state against being murdered by criminals or madmen. This exact quote. That was 1982. Let's jump up. The most recent one was 2005, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. This woman had a restraining order against her husband. It didn't stop him, and the cops and it didn't and the cops ignored it and allowed this uh, guy to kill um, the three kids, his own three kids. Okay, and they they the Supreme Court still ruled by seven to two that the Supreme that. Um, the police had no obligation to defend this woman even though she had a restraining order okay so this leads to my next my, my last point the Second Amendment for all those people who are anti-gun and claim that the police will protect us from harm after we're we've all been disarmed but in reality as the Supreme Court has has repeatedly said, the police have no obligation whatsoever to protect you from murder, from criminals and madmen. So, if the police are not there to protect us, then what is their function? From what I've witnessed, the function of the police is to prey upon us. We are forced, not only are they there to prey upon us, we're forced to fund them. We're forced to fund this predator for, re for a re revenue-hungry and power-obsessed government. That's their function. So, without the Second Amendment, we are nothing more than cattle just waiting to be fleeced and butchered. So think about that. Thank you. Remember, trust in God, everyone else pays in silver.